Hi there and welcome to Arduino Project 5, the Mood Cube. In this project we'll be creating a short circuit to be able to uh, twist a potentiometer uh, to be able to create an output of the servo motor being turning into something else. So we're going to get started with the actual circuit here. The circuit still, um, the power still set up as per the previous circuit. Uh, so we're just going to get started and uh, get this all powered up. So the first thing we should do is actually build our items. So the first thing is a potentiometer, which is this little blue thing here. Uh, we're going to put in the actual twister here. So we'll be able to twist that. So I just plug it in like that, and then we'll be able to twist that round. Uh, and that will cause a little output. And so that's all done. Uh, I can actually feel that there is a uh, start and an end to this as well. So there's a, a minimum and a maximum to that. So that one's that. Uh, then we've also got the servo motor itself. And all we're going to do with this is put on one of these um, just uh, end pieces. And when we turn this, there's a small sound there as well. And this, the servo motor actually only goes 180 degrees. It actually goes a little bit less than that, if you can see uh, from that angle. If I twist all the way around. Oh no, it does go over 100. It does go 180 degrees, but it's slightly off. So I'll start there. I'll put the actual uh, piece on like that, so that it's yeah, so that it's actually level with the servo motor itself. So that's the servo motor done. So um, what we're going to do first things first. Let's actually connect the um, power to our board. So we're going to create um, according to the book. Let's start at rows 16 and 18. And we're going to just very quickly put our um, ground in at 16 and our power in at 18, like so. And then lower down the board, we're going to go to rows 26 and 27 and put ground and power in. Now that's actually going to be slightly different from the book uh, because in the book, um, the servo motor is connected ground, uh, ground power, and then it output. But in the actual servo motor itself, it goes ground output power. So instead of going um, 26 and 27 being the ground and the power, we're actually going to slightly change that and do 26 and 28 are going to be the ground and the power. So 28 will make us power here. And 26, if I can pick the wire up, will be our ground. We just need to make sure that we actually plug this in the right way around. Um, so let's do that now actually. So let's get, first of all, the actual output um, to 27 and we'll plug that into uh, digital output 9. So digital output 9 which is here on the board, on the Arduino itself. And then we will connect uh, one of these male to male pin sets here into the servo motor itself like so and then the servo motor itself we will then connect from the power we'll need to go to 28 and the uh, the ground will need to go to 26 with the output in the middle right that's actually trying to create some output onto the uh, servo motor so I'm going to disconnect the power for now um, because this will be from the, the previous um, the previous circuit that we actually plugged in so I'll disconnect the power for now because I don't want to break the servo motor um, but that is actually working now uh, in fact we need to move this inside a little bit so we'll move that up to row C or actually row B according to the map there uh, now with the um, with the capacitors we want to connect these two between the power and the ground of the servo motor. So the ground will be the shorter piece of the capacitor. Um, so the ground will be there and the power will be there. So we're going to connect this as so between rows 26 and 28. And then we also need to actually connect our um, potentiometer up as well. So this is going to be connected one side to the 5 volt, the other to the ground um, and then the output 
according to the diagram, will be into analog zero. So we want one side to there, one side to there, and we'll put that here. We'll put it across both sides of the board again uh, to make it easier for ourselves. And we also want to put a capacitor between the power and the ground as well with the black piece nearer to the ground. So we'll put that in there like so. And then finally uh, we'll connect the uh, analog in to the potentiometer there. So that'll be A0 to the potentiometer on this side of the board. And that is our circuit. So I'm just going to plug these back in to see if uh, now that we've added the capacitor and other things, if it's still going to be on. It is still going to be on. So I'm going to take out the power for this for now until I've actually done the coding. Um, but that is our circuit board, all completed. Quite a simple one, this one. So let's go over to the computer now and do a little bit of coding and then we'll plug the power back in and hopefully everything runs smoothly. Okay, so here we are with a blank canvas for project 5 code. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do, slightly different from the previous projects, is actually do an include here uh, to bring in the actual servo library. So we'll do an include servo uh, dot h, which should include the library. And then we'll name that servo my servo. And then we'll start with the, the rest of the coding. So I'll just skip over this bit very quickly. Okay, so that's all the code that we require. So all this is really doing is attaching the actual servo to uh, digital out port nine and putting giving it a, a port number. Uh, and then we're reading in whatever the uh, potentiometer value is from the analog read for uh, analog zero for pot pin, and uh, then we're going to serial print, uh, so print these to the actual output window, uh, the pot val and the angle as well, the angle which is going to be mapped uh, between pot val and 1023 and 179, which is the, the number of degrees uh, that we can actually turn to and the number of outputs on the actual servo meter itself. Uh, then we can actually write to that servo the angle that it should be at and then we're going to delay by 15 and we're done. So let's actually upload this now to the uh, Arduino. Oh, there's an error in compiling. Why is there an error in compiling? Let's have a look. Long map, long, 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 long. So have I missed a number in there? Pop valve 0, one, two, one, oh, two, three. Ah, there's another 0 in there. So I have missed a number. So let's try that again. Still no in compiling. Angle was not declared in this scope. Yes, it was. It was declared up here. Ah, but I didn't put a semicolon at the end. So that's all done now. So it's compiling the sketch. Uh, problem uploading to board. There was a USB issue just before. So uh, I'm going to go off screen now and try and figure out the USB issue. Uh, I think there was an actual problem with the USB connection. Uh, so may need to just restart the Arduino and plug, plug it back in, that sort of thing. So um, we'll be back very shortly with the camera and hopefully this is going to work. Okay, so it was a very simple case of unplugging and plugging the Arduino itself back in, um, but I've connected the power back up now. Uh, so as you can see on the board, the overall circuit is now complete once again. And now, hopefully when I turn the potentiometer, ooh, make sure that things don't fall out, the actual uh, servo unit here should also turn. So let's just hold on to the board, make it steady, and then we'll turn the potentiometer. There we go, perfect. So we're actually able to make the servo move. So if I twist this clockwise, then the servo will move clockwise, like so. And if I twist this anti-clockwise, the servo itself also moves anti-clockwise. That is brilliant. So we've actually managed to get a potentiometer connected to our servo arm. And if you can see that, the servo is spinning as I twist the potentiometer. So I can't really give much more of a uh, focus on this, but maybe if I move this around here a little bit, and then I can twist the potentiometer with my finger and thumb. The servo there 
is twisting at the same time. Fantastic. So that was project five of the Arduino. So thank you very much for watching. Until next time. Bye bye now.